Hello viewer, today I will show you how to configure Mikrotik router with two ISP and make auto failover. Uh, this one is step by step, so uh, I think it will be very easy for understanding. So I go through step by step. Uh, first of all, I reset the Mikrotik. I have already reset Mikrotik, so here I have no configuration, default configuration, just that on all are default uh, now go through step by step step 1 add ISP IP ISP 2 IP and LAN IP ok let's start IP address just add ISP IP ISP 1 IP on one two. this one it have one apply ok then I speed to IP I need to one six three ninety six one double four CDR twenty seven this will it have two that means this also I speed to apply ok and third one LAN IP one nine two one six eight 1.1 slash 24 is applicable on ether 3 apply ok now I just uh, rename the ether 1 ISP 1 apply ok rename ether 2 ISP 2 apply ok and rename ether 3 this one LAN so LAN apply ok Okay, these are ready. Uh, step one: add IP address, all IP, ISP one, ISP two, ISP and LAN uh, setup ready. Then is uh, in step two: just go to the IP firewall net. Okay, IP firewall and then net. Uh, I have had two rules for ISP one and ISP two. First of all, ISP one add rules source net out interface ISP 1 ISP 1 and action masquerade action masquerade apply ok second second one so source net out interface ISP 2 and action masquerade apply ok step 2 finish and now step 3 IP route IP route routes uh, then I need to add here three three rules first of one this one for ISP1 this one for ISP2 and this one for both ISP so I start for ISP1 here destinet 00, zero gateway first ISP gateway 115 127 3489 and this one and check gateway ping the gateway ping is elaborate then apply ok another for ISP2 gateway that means 182.163.96.129 and this one ping ok ISP2 and another rule for both ISP this one get a one get a for ISP one 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 five one two seven thirty four eighty nine and another one one eight two one six three ninety six one two nine and check get a ping then apply Okay, uh, that means step three 
finish now step 4 IP firewall mangle ok IP firewall and mangle just I get need some rules for mangle here I have 5 rules first of all uh, 2 input 2 output and 1 common so first one change input this one in interface ISP one action ma action mark connection this one action mark connection and write up here ISP one underscore zero double n and tick for pass through then apply ok another input rules input then in interface i speed 2 in interface i speed 2 action mark connection action mark connection and write i speed 2 connection right of here isp to underscore zero double connection and tick pass through then apply ok uh, another one another two need to for output ok then uh, this one output for isp1 connection mark isp1 connection mark isp1 action mark routing action mark routing and write up the name to isp1 to isp1 to isp1 and pass through tick and pass through tick then apply ok and the one for uh, isp2 output then connection mark i speed 2 then action mark routing mark routing and to i speed 2 to i speed 2 faster tick and apply ok and last one for common pre routing this one pre routing then in interface in interface LAN and action accept and action accept apply ok step 4 finish now step 5 just IP DNS IP DNS this one is common DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and just uh, tick the allow remote request and apply ok this one step 5 finish now set pc static ip as per lan sheet because i don't declare dhcp till now yes one nine two one six eight one dot one and eight dot eight dot eight dot eight okay okay and then I go to the browser just to check yes Facebook come ready YouTube okay everything come ready okay uh, now now step 7 set auto failover this one done ready so just step 7 auto failover if primary down then automatically on secondary link up so for this I need to declare just IP routes uh, this one for ISP1 and ISP2 route so I need to declare here just distance so uh, suppose ISP1 distance is okay now and ISP 
two I declare two two so auto failover connect ready now I check uh, if I down ISP one okay I down ISP one this one here. ISP one I need to down okay let's disconnect ISP one yes disconnected and now I check internet just amazon.com any few second it's next few second here yes and I can see the IP this one secondary ISP secondary link up now okay now I down secondary one and up primary link yes secondary link down now ISP ISP2 down now now I check again yes come ready yes working uh, IP searching yes this one primary link this one primary primary ISP yes ISP 91 that means everything done eh? so thanks if it's helpful please subscribe bye